Prelude to the Probe by Rev. James A. Robb. So when they had dined, Jesus saith to Simon Peter, Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me more than these? St. John 21, 15. A group of weary fishermen, perplexed and troubled sore, from night of fruitless fishing at morn drew near to shore, and there midst mist of early dawn, one called from shore to know if they had taken aught in net to hear in turn a most frustrated no. Then cast the net on other side, and ye shall surely find. And doing this, a goodly catch was in their net entwined. It is the Lord, did John declare, and Peter splashed ashore to find the Christ he had denied, whom he'd deny no more. While Peter splashed alone to shore, the others brought the fish, and there did find both fire and food. T'was all that heart could wish. The Christ was there, their greatest need in living proof t'was he, who there with heart of love prepared a breakfast by the sea. Then when the sense of failure gave way to well-filled net, and they now with filled with finest food did dismal thoughts forget. The Savior spoke to Peter then, not words of sharp reproach, but with appeal and not rebuke did highest motive broach. Dost love me now, said Jesus, and more than all of these? To which the humbled Peter assented by degrees. Then having reached the inmost heart, with love in probing deep, he then did challenge love to show. Feed my lambs and feed my sheep. O wisdom of the Savior, expressed in love and power, to fill their net and feed them in that depressing hour. Then, when with spirit lifted by food and warmth of fire, he challenged love's pure motive to noble deeds inspire. O oh, shepherds of the master's sheep, be wise and love sincerely. Those faltering members of the flock whom Christ has purchased dearly. Before you fault them, feed them. And warm them with your love and challenge them to nobly serve the Christ who reigns above. Yea, feed the lambs, said Jesus, they're youthful, immature and feed the ones who bear the load and help them to endure. Then feed the ones now lonely, the aged and distressed, the ones who served before your time and gave to God their best. Oh, feed the flock, cried Peter, when he had older grown, and do it not for money's sake, but let Christ's love be shown. Be thou example to the flock in spirit and in word. And when you stand in judgment, may Christ's well done be heard.